If you're not getting a good night's sleep, it might be time to consult the experts to find out why. Sleep Co. specializes in screening and treating sleep apnea. Dr. David Pinsky, who is practicing in sleep medicine, is joining us to explain how you can get a free sleep screening and start getting better sleep tonight. Dr. Pinsky, you must have heard me snoring tonight, or this last night, and came in immediately and said, this girl needs some help. Snoring is sort of the tip-off that something's wrong? That's correct. Sleep apnea is basically you stop breathing while you're sleeping, and you can have anywhere from 10 episodes to uh, 200 episodes per night, and you can have hundreds of problems during the night as well. Wow, so sleep apnea is not so much snoring, I guess. It's when you stop breathing. That's correct. So you'll, you'll stop breathing, and like I said, anywhere from 10 seconds to two minutes at a time, you'll stop breathing. Now, and I mean, could you die from that? Is it, I, you'd think that your body would be like, okay, it's time to breathe again, but how does this all work? How does it happen? Well, basically with, with sleep apnea, uh, there's, there's a problem because you don't have a, enough oxygenated blood getting to the heart. Okay. And it, it causes many problems. It'll, it'll cause... Uh, memory loss, it'll cause diabetes, uh, weight gain, uh, there's so many problems. Stem from sleep. We Human beings really need our sleep. I guess that's important. How many people are afflicted with sleep apnea? You have 15 million Americans have sleep apnea wow. and 80 to 90 percent of those go undiagnosed and untreated. So tell, tell us what the tip-offs are. You said you know it, it, sleep apnea can lead to all of these much deeper, worse problems. But it, sort of what are the tip-offs that we need to be aware of to, to maybe realize that we have a problem? Well, one of the main problems, years ago you used to, used to think that snoring was normal. Well, snoring is not normal. And patients that do have a snoring problem, they're not breathing properly. Mm -hmm. you know, also, you'll wake up in the morning, you'll have migraine headaches, you'll be tired throughout the day. Again, you'll, you'll have memory loss, weight gain, diabetes. And uh, we always ask the question if mom or dad ever had heart problems because you hear all the time where somebody is just dropping dead at age right. 42 or 50. And that's certainly a, a problem and we, we can't rule out sleep apnea. Now we know a lot of athletes use like those oxygen scuba masks when they sleep. So this is something that we can use just as normal unathletic people as well. Tell us the treatments. Okay, basically the treatment, we have a, a home sleep test. Mm -hmm. uh, here and we would put it on and you'd have the patient wear it at night they'd bring it back the next day we would upload the results to our sleep physician and he would be able to give a diagnosis so i don't have to go into the into the the center the sleep center and and have you guys monitor everything i can do this in my own home that's correct there's a new technique that we're using the home sleep test and basically it if the sleep physician says you have mild to moderate sleep apnea we can now make oral appliances for you if you have severe sleep apnea, we recommend a, a CPAP machine. The mm -hmm. sleep physician will recommend a, a CPAP machine. The problem with that is 80 to 90 percent of the patients won't wear it, and therefore you're going to need to have an appliance made if, if you want to treat it at all. So these uh, items that we're looking at here, they are to keep your jaw in the right position. Tell us how, how these work. Right. Basically, what the appliances will do, they'll, we will open up your bite, and bring your lower jaw forward, okay. thereby opening up the airway. Oh, okay, so it's sort of that soft palate in your mouth that can uh, get constricted and, and cut off the, the blood flow. That's, that's amazing. So, okay, I'm holding on to your home test. Okay, I'm putting it on. I'm just gonna put it on to, because I have to try it. Now, it's this easy? I can just wear this at home and it gets all the information overnight. That's correct. Really? This goes in your nose, by the way, this part right here. I'm not gonna do that, though. <laughs> But it's just this easy, and I could probably sleep with this without any problem. And what kind of information is this picking up? Basically, it will pick up what's called an apnea hypopnea index. It's a number of disturbances you have while you're sleeping, breathing disorders. And uh, under 5 is normal. If you have 5 to 15, you have mild sleep apnea. 16 to 30, moderate wow. sleep apnea. And greater than 30 usually requires uh, severe sleep apnea where you see the sleep physician. Do you see that most people come in because their spouse is telling them that you're not sleeping well or you're moving around too much? What are you finding that people are coming in with their first concern of issue? Well, we see it every day. It's usually the wife that makes the husband come in because the, 
the husband's been snoring. He doesn't, it doesn't bother him, but the wife now with the new uh, technology, she has it videotaped and, oh. and, bring, and brings the husband in with the videotape saying that she can't uh, be in the smart. same room with Excellent. the husband anymore. Well, if people are having sleep problems, where can they get more information? Where can they get to you? Okay, to us, we, we have a website that says IHateSnoringMD.com. And they could get a free, free health screening there and Absolutely. figure it out. Excellent. Absolutely. I think I need to do this, and I'm sure my husband will send you videos of me. Okay, I'm going to put this in my nose. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for keeping us healthier as we uh, sleep better. Okay. Well, thank you. A more rested life for all of us. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.